welcome to the Austrian Cultural Forum New York. It's a great pleasure to be back at our concert hall for the opening act of our live stream sessions. And uh, joining us today are Franz Hackel, Leo Genovese, and Elisabeth Lohninger. Franz Hackel is an internationally touring trumpet soloist and composer in jazz and contemporary classical music. It is worth noting that Franz builds his own horns together with his father, making them one of the world's elite brass instrument manufacturers. Alongside is Leo Genovese, uh, who began playing the piano at the age of five and has been touring internationally for the past 15 years. His many achievements include recordings with uh, bassist and vocalist Esperanza Spalding. Joining the duo is jazz vocalist and author Elisabeth Lohninger. Elisabeth has a classic and jazz music education as well as a master's degree in English literature. Having performed in prestigious venues, she has released 13 albums to date. Now, live from New York, the Leo Genovese and Franz Hackel duo with special guest Elisabeth Lohninger. Yeah. Enjoy.
such a great honor to play at the Austrian Cultural Forum. Because, you know, it also reminds me that I'm pretty old at this point. Because I played the first concert here when the building was opened. Uh, I got a commissioned uh, work which was performed with me as a soloist in the Klangforum Wien. And now for, and in I'm already for 30 years, uh, I live in New York City. And, uh, you know, I witnessed uh, many really fantastic uh, artistic works and concerts, what, what, what they feature here. And even better, uh, as a musician, later on as a trio, uh, and now as a duo with the fantastic Leo Cenovese, uh, it's the most intimate form of, of making music together. And it's just uh, an incredible gift, an opportunity to play with somebody. You just can play whatever you think of, and he makes you sound good. So thank you, Leo. Uh, we started out with a song by Gottfried Reiche, who wrote this thing, I don't know exactly when, but he lived from 1667 to 70, 1734. So. It's pretty old, but it's actually the, uh, we made our own, uh, as we do with all the songs we play, we play stuff, uh, rock stuff, rock, uh, uh, jazz, and, and Volksweisen, we make it our own. But to many of you, it might have sound familiar because it's what uh, Sunday morning the on CBS, the morning show, uh, I think Winton plays the original uh, theme. So, and I just, it's one of my favorite shows, so I thought, okay. We incorporate it in our program. Uh, the next song is an Austrian Volksweise, and it's very beautiful. Wann du durchgehst durch Stahl. And it's arranged by one of my dear friends, fantastic uh, piano player Christian Wegscheider. And it's, it's really the, the harmonies and the way he arranged the song. It's pretty close to genius. Wann du durchgehst durch Stoll.
The next song we do was also very instrumental in my life. Uh, actually, the guy who wrote it, it's Lou Soloff, uh, one of the greatest uh, trumpet players ever lived, and he was the reason that I came to New York City. And yeah, everything else turned out really well because I really wanted to study with him, and be he also became a close friend and and so he helped me out a lot so whoever knows Lou he had he had the great ability uh whoever he knew everybody thought he's his best friend and truthfully so because uh what he was saying and and how he was leading people and as a teacher he really meant uh it emotionally and with all his soul uh, in a daily life he was a little bit less organized and uh, the next song we play, it's actually his handwriting, and it's, it's called Ankara, but whenever he recorded it and put it on a CD, he called it Istanbul. At least he got the country right, you know, so it's about two variations. Ankara by Lou Solov.
you know, when I was saying at the very beginning of this concert that Leo is such a nice guy and a fantastic musician, and all of that is true, but there also comes a certain danger with it. Because whenever you tell him a story, he actually remembers it, and then he writes a song about it to make sure that he has to tell the story each single time. And he said, Franz, you know, I will write a great song, and then you have to tell the story. So what happened, um, I think it's now two years ago or something like that, I went here in Harlem to, to Whole Foods, was locking up my bike, and then a woman approached me and she said, you know, uh, vegans have the best sex. So, and I was kind of taken by surprise, and I thought, oh shoot, you know, how do I get out of that? And then I told her, I know, because I'm a vegan too, but I love to kill animals, so I'm a vegan butcher. Which of course is not true, I love animals, I never killed an animal in my life. But So now we play for you, <laughs> the vegan butcher, and Leo is responsible for it. Thank you. 
In Austria, we have a saying, good thing braucht weil. So good things uh, take sometimes a long time to make it happen. And this is, this comes very true right now. Uh, I'd love to introduce now the wonderful vocalist Elisabeth Lordinger on stage. We know each other for <laughs> more than 25 years. And I'm 15. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I met you in, in your former life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Reincarnated. And finally, after 25 years, we actually managed to perform together. Yes. So Which again is, is, is a great achievement of, of Nadia, who was behind that. So thank you. After 25 years, you see, the Cultural Forum even has to find help out with Austrians who live for 30 years and 25 years in the same town. Uh, respect each other as artists and actually good friends to finally play together. Elisabeth. Hello. Uh, maybe uh, can we turn the reverb down a little bit in the monitor? Thank you. Um, I'm very, very happy to be here and we're going to do a couple tunes. The first one is an original of mine and it's from my latest album called Lifelines and this one is about a cool cat hanging out by the bathroom door and you're not quite sure what they're in for. There's a cool cat hanging by the bathroom door. He wears a cool hat, smiles so wide, his face won't stretch no more. I swear his eyeballs are green. And although it's never seen, I'm pretty sure a bushy tail is tucked beneath the seat of his very overcoat. How come this cool cat is hanging by the bathroom door? If he is all that, why ain't he out among the carnivores? Is this a game that he plays? Oh, a smile is on my face. Am I the mouse in this equation? This is not my persuasion. The story goes that the cool cat knows the innocent can see him. When they're drunk, ayo, ah, 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 ayo, whoa, oh, 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 one more time.
this cool cat hanging by the bathroom door. He wears a cool hat, smiles so wide, his face won't stretch no more. I swear his eyeballs are green, and although it's never seen, I'm pretty sure a bushy tail is tucked beneath the sea. Of his fairy overcoat. How come this cool cat hang up by the bathroom door? If he is all that, why ain't he out among the carnivores? Is this a game that he plays? Or oh, his eyes won't leave my face. Am I the mouse in this equation? This is not my persuasion. The story goes that the cool cat knows the innocent can see it in. Oh, yes, the story goes that the cool cat knows the innocent can see it in. Oh, yeah. cat. So when uh, Franz asked me actually a week ago, I think, yeah, yeah to, uh, to do this performance with him, I listened to what these two guys have been doing and um, got inspired. So I decided to make this arrangement of an Austrian folk song that I had been singing with my sisters for, I think, 20 years. And um, it's one of my favorites and one of our favorites. It's called Bibele Liebele. And this is my arrangement. And we have never performed this before, so this is really exciting.
kommt mir nichts besser, wo ich frei. Reis man mein Wut alle drei Gall zu Nacht und in der Früh wieder frisch lacht. Reis man mein Wut This next song is uh, written by a uh, songwriter from Uruguay named uh, Jorge Drexler. And um, I've always loved singing this one because it's so much about hope and it is about basically helping each other to cross that river to where you see the light on the other side of that river. And um, it's become you know, more and more poignant over the last 
time, as we all know. And um, but it's also it's just. It, I think we all can use a little bit more of that right now, just opening the heart to hope. And this is called Al Otro Lado del Rio. perdido tanta lágrima tanta lágrima yo soy un paso vacío oigo una voz que me llama casi un suspiro rema rema que no es presta es baldío creo que he visto una luz al otro lado del río yo muy serio voy remando voy adentro sonrío creo que he visto una luz al otro lado perdido tanta lágrima tanta lágrima yo soy un vaso vacío oigo una voz que me llama casi un suspiro rema perdido tanta lágrima tanta lágrima yo soy un vaso vacío oigo una voz que me llama casi un suspiro remo
tu remo e nel mio creo che hai visto una luz all'altro lato del rio Thank you, guys. That was so much fun. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so, actually, you know, we made a huge mistake because that was the last song. Oh, damn said. it. But we're in luck because modern technology, virtual reality, we know what the audience wants. Of course we you do. You see, we, we have the numbers <laughs> and we do one encore. Somebody's always running across the room with the numbers of people that are watching every five minutes, so we know exactly who's out there. And we give you a little treat, uh, <laughs> because out, out of time constraints, we, we play two songs at once. Yes. It's actually kind of written changes, my kind of written changes, called Written Tandle. Uh -huh. And then the other one, the educated audience will recognize immediately. Yeah. And we'll just play everything really fast. And no, let's not. <laughs> and if you're confused, don't feel left out because we might join We're you. We're confused too. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. It was a wonderful event and hopefully uh, this pretty soon audience will be allowed and, and all the best to the Austrian Cultural Forum and to their wonderful work. And the triple A threat says actually goodbye because Leo is from Argentina and to Austrians. That makes us the AAA threat. <laughs> Looking yes. forward to see you next time in person. Yes. Thank you. By the way, if you've forgotten, that's Leo Genovese. Leo Genovese, Franz Hackl. Elisabeth Lohninger, thank you so much. There's the camera. I'm looking at whatever I'm looking at. There's the camera.
Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Leo Genovese, Elisabeth Loninger. Franz Hackel. Thank you, guys. <laughs>